Four days after returning to the platform, Kanye West's Instagram account was suspended once more. Yee then took to the uncancellable free speech platform, Parler to claim that the ban was caused by a screenshot he shared of a text conversation in which he made derogatory remarks about Jewish business people. Four days after returning to the platform, Kanye West's Instagram account was suspended once more. Welcome viewers to my channel. Please subscribe, like my video and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next update. Meta, the parent company of Instagram, confirmed West's suspension to Billboard yesterday, October 31st, citing an unidentified policy violation. Although Instagram was forced to remove content from the rapper's feed and restrict his ability to comment, post, and send direct messages, the spokesperson did not specify which specific posts led to West's most recent suspension. Meta also revealed that West's most recent offense resulted in a 30-day suspension, just a few weeks after his account was restricted in response to anti-Semitic posts at the beginning of October. West uploaded a graphic image of Emmett Till, a 14-year-old African-American boy who was tortured and lynched in 1955 for offending a white woman, before he was banned on Sunday, October 30th. That post was accompanied by pictures of Ari Emanuel, a businessman who recently wrote in an opinion piece for the Financial Times that West's business partners should stop working with him. After the West-owned Academy and its basketball team were closed due to his anti-Semitic remarks, the rapper urged Emanuel to find a place for the Donda Academy kids to go to school. West wrote that, this is what modern post-social media hashtag Black Mirror Warfare looks like, in another part of the post, which is still up on his Instagram account. Before declaring, everyone in the world, the rapper compared the backlash he has received to, economic lynching, and, digital lynching. Consider me as an illustration of what will occur if you exhibit any frustration. According to Rolling Stone, West posted on Parler, a right-leaning social media platform that claims to be an uncancellable free speech platform, after Instagram suspended him for 30 days. Last month, its parent company stated that it intended to sell Parler to Yee. On Parler, West claimed that he had been banned from Instagram because he had shared a screenshot of a text conversation with a person he claimed to be record executive Russell Simmons. Yee posted that screen capture, which isn't accessible on his Instagram account, to Parler. West responded, I'm staying in America, when Simmons suggested that West consider moving abroad to rebuild his empire. I must convince Jewish businesspeople to ensure fair contracts, or fail miserably. The following caption was added by the rapper to that parlor post, after telling Russell Simmons that I was going to force, you know who, to have better contracts and business practices, I was kicked off Instagram for 30 days. Jesus is ruler. West's latest Instagram boycott, he was additionally restricted for 24 hours in spring, came two days after he endeavored to apologize for correspondingly hostile comments with respect to George Floyd, who he dishonestly asserted had passed on from fentanyl. Because right now, I know how it feels to have a knee on my neck, West said of his statements, I want to apologize for hurting Floyd's family.